So since software is simply a language, let me share with you how the Ibotta theme thinks, what it expects from you, therefore it makes a learning process so much more enjoyable. All right, so the first thing we're going to do before we build any pages is we're gonna take advantage of the demo pages that Ibotta provides to you. This is a great way to get started up and running quickly. This way we can walk before we can run. So at this point, you should have your suggested and required plugins installed and ready to go. All right, so what I'll do based on these choices, because software simply comes down the choice. If you come over here to the left, you'll notice it says install demos. Now, it's also going to caution you to say, hey, don't install this demo on an existing website because it could wipe out a lot of your content. So we're going to take this one step at a time. We're going to click over here. We can preview this if we'd like. This is going to do a preview right from Theme Fusion of Vod. It's going to show you what that particular installation is going to look like. And I will take you step by step on how to finesse and how to get the best results from your Vada theme. So based on these choices, we're going to click installation. Now, once again, it says demo content, yada, 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 if you want to read through that, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to say, great, I get it because Robert is telling us to do this. I'm going to hit OK. So it's going to go ahead and install that content, and I'll come right back. Now, what Avada just did for you is if you go over to your pages, before we install this demo content, the only page we had here was a sample page that comes with your WordPress in installation. The only post we had here was a whole world post. We're going to go to all pages. So what this is going to do is share with you all the different pages that the Avada theme just put into our WordPress installation, including a blank page, by the way. So we're gonna take this one step at a time. I'm gonna to go to a one column classic. Recall that we picked the classic installation and I'm just gonna hit the edit menu. Now here's a nice production technique. I'm using a free plugin, which you can just do, search this yourself. Just go to install plugins and you wanna search for duplicate post. Duplicate Post, if you're going to work in the real world, is a great plugin because it enables you to take something, a concept that you already built for you or your client, and simply duplicate the post or page. Therefore, you can just have different versions, version 1, version 2, version 3, that you can share with your client one step at a time. I will share with you in a subsequent video how that works in detail, but I use it all the time, and I highly suggest you do the same thing. Okay. Now, if we click here on Fusion Page Builder, this comes with the installation of Avada. And you'll see in my, in my page builder, I could, I could build any type of pages that I'd like. But before we go further, I want you to walk before you could run. So here's what I want to share with you. I'm going to come up here to Avada. That's the name of my site. I'm in a multi-site environment. Now, everything I'm gonna share with you works pretty much the same on a single installation. I happen to be using a multi-site installation. So some of the menu choices up here are slightly different, but everything's gonna work exactly the same. So here's what I want to share with you. If I go up here to Avada and view site, this is gonna be the home page that was installed when I pick install demo content. Now, part of the reason you're seeing this up here is because they're logged in as the admin. So let me share with you a really powerful technique. Let's say that you don't want to log in, log out, and this is just a basic WordPress production technique. So here's what I want to share with you. If you either right click on Windows or control click pop up menu on Macintosh, you can open this up in a private window. Chrome calls this incognito, Firefox calls it private window. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to go to view site and I'm going to open this up in a private window. Therefore, you'll get the same experience that a viewer would get not logged in as an admin without logging back out. So it's a great production technique. You can do that with any selection, any window in WordPress. You can open that up in a private window, whether using Chrome or Firefox. So what I want to share with you is these are the pages that are built. And if I scroll down here, you're going to get the experience of the Avada theme one step at a time. Now, you might say, wait a second, we just got started and now you're throwing all this stuff at me. Well, I'm going to share with you how the Avada theme thinks and what it expects from you. So let's do this. Let's go back up to Avada. I'm going to go to Visit Site. I'm going to hold down and open a new tab. So therefore, I'm still logged in as the admin, but I'm going to open up a brand new tab. 
So here is the front end of my site that was created with my Vada, Vada Classic theme installation. All right, now, based on these choices, software simply comes down to choice, we're gonna hit Edit Page. And here is how the Avada theme thinks, and here's what it needs from you. Everything you just saw there on that page was presented using the Avada theme. So, once again, I'm going to share with you how it thinks. I'm going to click right here under Default Editor. And what you're going to see if you're new to WordPress, if you're new to your bottom theme, is a bunch of short codes. Now, what is a short code? A short code is a pre programmed series of uh, 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 scripts and images and texts that the program software developer, the person who wrote the WordPress theme, has created short codes to make your life easier. You're going to basically fill in the blanks. Now you can always identify a short code because you'll see it has an opening left bracket and a closing right bracket that ends that particular short code. I'll talk about more of that in a subsequent video. So what's happening on the page? Let's just go back to the, the, the page itself. If I hold down the control key, right click, I'm just going to go to open tab window. So here is the front end of the page that was installed with the Avada theme by default. We pick classic installation for demo content. Again, I want you to walk before you could run. More importantly, I want you to think about what's happening right now. So if I click back in here, what you're seeing, because I'm in my default editor, okay? Everything you see in here, if I scroll down here one step at a time, mimics exactly what you're seeing on the front end of the page. Now, Rather than get overwhelmed and kind of lose your mind so far, what I want to share with you is that even though this looks like confusing code, it's actually simpler than you think. Obviously, this is an image. If I wanted to change the image, I can click right here and edit and change that image. We'll talk about that later. As you scroll down here, you're going to get to different sections of your page. So as an example, if you get a visual snapshot on that, that is the image that's down here at the bottom. So if I scroll down, you're going to see the image appear at the bottom. That's a section right here. Okay, so the advantage of being logged in as the admin, I can go to edit page and I can make changes to that. So if you wanted to use this as an idea and swap out your information, it really is child's play on how to do this. Now, since my training is all about proper understanding of the software, I also like to share with you production techniques. Training is all about technique based on experience. So let's say as an example that I want to find visually where this is on the page. I'm going to take this piece of text. I'm going to copy that Command-C, Control-C, Windows. I'm going to go out to my body theme and I'm just going to do a find and I'm going to find that particular part of the text. And this will tell you that this part of the text visually is what you're editing right here. So as an example, if I go to the front end and you can see the text here, it says Avada is 100% responsive element. So if I come back in here, you will see in that section right here from point A to point B, Avada is a responsive design element. So notice that this is the opening fusion text and then down here is the closing fusion text, similar to, if you're familiar at all with HTML, HTML is in the left less than symbol, greater than symbol, also known as carrots. So the less than symbol, so as an example, if I was to put this in an H1 tag, like so, so if I did something like H1, that's an opening tag, and here is a closing tag. Well, spelling H1 would certainly help, Okay, so I just want to share with you that this follows the same premise. Here's an opening tag. Here's a closing tag. Now, if it helps you to hit the return key, you can do that as well to see this a little bit clearer. Now, this is the visual setting of the, of the tab setting inside of WordPress. If I was to select text, all you're going to see in here is text. And quite frankly, 
That can be a little confusing, but as you get more familiar with working with short codes, it can really be child's play for you. So once again, I just want to share with you a little technique here. If you want to change different things on your page visually, you can compare that to the front end of your page. So let's go back to that section for responsive design. So I can do a find, paste, and right there, there's my responsive design. So let's say I want to change it to response to design, one, two, three, tips. Now let me share with you a really cool production technique with WordPress itself. If I hit update right now, of course, that's going to save the changes. And if I come back up here and refresh my page, because I happen to have the page opened up, but let me share with you a production technique. If I didn't have this page opened up, I can simply click here and hit preview changes. Now, as we talked about before, if I hold down the control key for Macintosh right click for Windows, I can open this up in a private window. I'm using Chrome. If I was in Firefox, it'd be a private window. Chrome uses something called incognito, which shows you the experience without being logged in. So you will see when that page refreshes, if I was to do a find again to find that section and hit the return key, you'll see that it says exactly what I did. Now, notice that this is being printed. Why do you think that's being printed? I don't want to see that age tag. How, what caused that to happen? Well, let's examine this. Right now, when I change that, I was in, I was in visual mode. If I don't want this to appear, you would have to do that in text mode. So I'd have to click over here to text, select that area, find change again, return, So I'm looking for the H1 tag. And you'll now see, since I put the H1 tag inside of that uh, text area, that the H1 tag is not showing up there. So I just want to share with you some basic concepts with working with shortcodes in the WordPress environment. So in the next video, we'll go further into understanding the Yavada theme. So stay tuned.